pilgrimage stopped in Neshoba County, Mississippi, where in June of 1964, three young men, James Cheney, Mickey Schwerner, and Andrew Goodman, were kidnapped, terrorized, tortured, and killed. They were participating in what was known as Freedom Summer in Mississippi, where a thousand mostly white volunteers had come from out of state, joining thousands of mostly blacks from Mississippi with the goal of registering voters, setting up freedom schools, as well as freedom libraries. Andrew Goodman was a volunteer who in June, on June 21st had just arrived. He was joining James Cheney, a black activist from Mississippi, aligned with CORE, and Mickey Schwerner, a CORE organizer. Together, they drove from Meridian, Mississippi, to investigate the bombing of Mount Zion Church. They never made it back. Part of our pilgrimage experience included stopping at the rebuilt Mount Zion Church. There's a small marker remembering the young men. Our bus then went through Philadelphia, Mississippi, and by the jail where the boys were briefly held, and then we continued on toward Meridian, turning on a lesser road before stopping at what seemed to be the middle of nowhere where we all got out of the bus. We were fortunate enough to have Bob Zellner with us. He took Rita Swerner, Mickey's wife, to visit Lyndon Johnson after the president agreed to meet with her sometime during the 44 days between the murder and when the bodies were found. Bob Zellner told us how the place we were now standing was the place where James Cheney was chained to a tree, tortured, beaten, killed. He explained that the people who kidnapped the boys didn't choose the spot because it was out of the way. In fact, it was on the way to one of their homes. And the men wanted to be able to drive by the spot every day and be proud of what they did. And as he talked, he began to cry which seemed like the most natural thing in the world because as he spoke, that's what most of us were doing. And when he finally composed himself, he said, you know, I never cried at the time. I didn't cry for years. None of us did. We simply held it inside and kept doing what we felt we needed to do. And then suddenly he said, shrunken heart syndrome. And I thought he might be explaining that he felt his heart had somehow shrunk because of all he'd lived through. But that wasn't it at all. The only thing I can figure out, he continued, was that for people to have treated other people so badly, for hundreds of years, they couldn't survive without shrunken hearts. And then we just stood there. Nothing to say. And finally, in the fading light, one of the locals who accompanied us joined our circle. And he told us we had to leave. It's getting dark. And it wasn't safe to be there after dark. Paul Simon was a friend and a classmate of Andrew Goodman's at Queen Col Queen's College. When you feeling small. When tears are in your eyes, I will dry them all. I am on your side. Oh, when times get rough and friends just can't be found. Like 
I'm sailing. 